this video we're going to be working on this uh, enclosed trailer here it is actually the vending trailer for square body nation so square body nation sponsoring this video since i'm working on their stuff i'm gonna have some pictures and some links and stuff of what square body nation has to offer So we're going to be putting, I don't know how well we'll be able to see in here, but we're going to be putting vending windows in the side of the trailer here. So when they go to shows and events, they can sell stuff out of the trailer instead of having to set up tents and all that kind of stuff. So I got to get started by taking the panels off on the inside, check out the structure of the trailer, and then we'll uh, figure out what we gotta do to get these windows mounted in here. We're also gonna be installing these lockers. Gonna mount them to the floor and the wall so that they can put all their merchandise in here and leave it locked up in the trailer and don't have to worry about it these are the vending windows that we're putting in they're gonna go in the side of the trailer and then they'll flip up and uh black aluminum so they match the trailer they latch and lock and all that so first thing i'm gonna do is start pulling down all the decorations he's got in here and get the wood trim pulled down so i can see the framing of the trailer and then we'll have to i got some square tubing over here we'll get our measurements where we want everything and then we'll have to make build some frames and set the windows in set the little window doors whatever you want to call them vending stations so i'm gonna set you guys up so you can watch what i'm doing and then i'm gonna start tearing into this thing All right, I got everything removed from the walls. Uh, there's these channels here that you gotta cut out and make a frame. And the uh, vending doors close into this. It's kind of like a seal slash trim piece. So I'm gonna measure the dimensions of the door and then I'm gonna measure this and then we'll decide where we want to put the doors on the wall so i'm going to get all that measuring done and then we can um, figure out where we want it on the wall Okay, so what I'm doing here is the window is six foot wide, but I don't have six foot exactly in between the braces. So the, for the ones that I'm gonna cut out, I'm gonna go ahead and extend my frame for the window to the next support to make it more structural so it'll hold on those uprights and then I'll build it up so it's got some structure here these aluminum frames that i made you don't generally have to actually make a frame like we did here um, 
this trailer isn't the most stable one I've ever worked on so by make, putting these together and welding them they kind of have their own structure which will help support not having the braces in where the windows are a little bit that's why I did it that way you can just build a metal frame and just screw those right to it so I got my measurement across I'm gonna go ahead and get some metal cut and then we can start welding stuff together to make our metal frames All right, this pipe is covered in mill scale really bad. Kind of got a little carried away with it in my opinion. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some wax and grease remover, wipe off as much of it as we can, and then we can start marking it out for where we're gonna weld it together so we can grind it and clean it up. All right, so when I build my frame, I'm gonna double up the top rail like that to give me some extra strength. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and about every inch or two along these seams, I'm gonna clean it up and then I'll go back in and stitch weld about an inch of weld, inch or two break, inch of weld. And uh, then I can weld these two flat together like this. So I'll clean up both ends. Then I'll clean up the ends of the other three pieces and then we'll uh, lay it out where we want to weld it together and we'll go ahead and get it welded up. All right, I got my frame all welded up. It does fit. I had it in there before I welded it all up, so I just got to clean it up a little bit and then I'll sit in there. And that'll be it for the frame. I got to do the other one, so I'll knock that out real quick and then we'll go out and get in the trailer and start cutting it up. Alright, so I got my frames all done. Got them welded up, cleaned up. I came in here and took my measurements. And then I ran a chalk line across, so I'm going to have to cut out these four for the rear window, and then I'm going to have to do the front. I'm going to go ahead and get started on the rear window for now. I'm just going to cut these braces out, and then we'll be able to clean them up and set my frame in there, and then I'll drag the welder out here and weld my frame in, and then we'll go on from there. Okay, so I got my, I got everything out. I got my frame set in there, intact. Uh, I'm gonna go back with the grinder, clean the metal up a little bit so I got a good surface to weld to, and I'm gonna go ahead and get this buzzed in. And then uh, after we do that, we can start cutting out the tin, and then we'll start putting the frame and the door in. All right, we're uh, heading back out to keep going on this, putting the vending doors in the trailer. I've been doing a terrible job of filming this video. Um, I'm on a time crunch. Only got three days to do it. Today's the last day. So I'm gonna video as much as I can, explain as much as I can, but I really just need to get it hammered out. So I'll set you guys up out there and uh, show you what I'm doing. Okay, so I got our steel frame all welded in i got the aluminum frame set in there next thing i gotta do is i gotta go around and drill holes all the way on three sides of it 
and put rivets in it to rivet that frame in. So I'm gonna go ahead and get doing that. Okay, I got my rivets in that other frame. It's not a lot of room in here, it's kind of hard to show, but I measured down from the top six inches, which is the same distance I did on the other one. And then I measured from that mark down on the exterior post, and then I took a chalk line, snapped it across, make sure I got nice straight lines. So now I just gotta cut these poles out real quick and then uh go on the outside and unscrew the panels then we can bring our steel frame in here and weld it in okay i got all my stanchions out i got the screws out on the outside so now i got some room to play with these I'm going to go ahead and put a sanding disc on my cutoff wheel there and I'll go around and clean these up and then once I get that done I'll go and get the uh, other frame set it up in here and see what we got. Alright I got all that cleaned up pretty good. So I'm going to go in and get the, our frame and we'll get it out here, get it set in and see if we got to make any adjustments for it. Alright, I got my frame out here. So, just bring this up here. Okay, I had to have a little motivational speech with it, but it decided it was in its best interest to go in there where I wanted it, so I got it up on my top marks. I'm going to go ahead and tack it in good at the top, and then I'll take my measurements because it can bow and flex a little bit. So I'll take my measurements, make sure we got the spacing that we need for our window, and if not, I'll adjust it and then we'll tack the bottom. Okay, so what I'm going to do, i got my drill with a 3 16 drill bit here. I'm going to go down in the corners. And I'm going to go ahead and pop a hole through here. corners are so I got a bigger like 7 16 or half inch drill bit I'm gonna go from the outside and drill that hole out bigger because I'm just gonna take a jigsaw and run right along the inside of my pipe here and get a perfect cut uh, I'm not gonna take the camera outside to film it because it's so windy that it'd just be a mess so that's what I'm going to do though. I'm going to drill bigger holes. The jigsaw will fit in from the outside in. And then I'll just take my jigsaw, zip it out. And then once I get the hole out, I'll get back with you guys. All right, you can see I got my hole cut out. So now we're going to take our aluminum frame and uh, put it up in here. like that, fits good.
Now we'll uh, do like I showed you on the other window. Drill holes in it, rivet it in. All right, I'm terrible about filming on this. Like I said before, I was on a time crunch. I only had three days to do it. I tried to film as much as I could, and it's kind of just a video to get some content up, give you guys something to watch. It's not gonna be that great. Um, with the uh, bad storms here in Texas and stuff, we didn't have power and everything. I couldn't work for like six or seven days. So I didn't film a lot of content and I had to get this trailer done. So I figured I'd go ahead and film it. So I had something put up for you guys to watch. So uh, I've gotten a lot of work done since I quit filming. I just had to put the camera down and get to it because I had to get it done. So I'll walk you through real quick and show you what I did. And uh, that should be it. So both the doors are in. Um, I made these little spacers and got some uh, door latches for like your door on your house. Put those in there. They close good, latch real nice. Did the same thing on this one. So, got the doors in and uh, Got all the paneling cut out for the doors put back in. So, got it done. He can come pick it up. He's got to leave in the morning to go to Lone Star Throwdown with the trailer. So, we got her knocked out. So, hope you guys enjoy the video. Like I said, it's just some content to put up, give you something to watch. Uh, we'll get back to our normal type projects here the next couple days. So, uh, please subscribe, like, share. Um, hope you guys are having a good one. But that's going to do it for this video. So, can't think of anything else. I'm tired. But, y'all have a good one and we'll see you next time.